All right, this is a video going to be explaining the WordPress framework that your website's built on and going to give you everything you know need to know to update both the content and e-commerce aspect of it. So I've just logged into the WordPress admin using your admin username and password. And this is the dashboard where you kind of get started in it. The first thing you're going to want to notice is under pages, that's where all of the key pages are created for pretty much everything on the website. So the about, certified installers, charging solution, company, EVSC academics. I'll just go into EVSC academics and show you how to update it should you want to change the content or make an alteration to it. After the page loads, you're going to see all the content is listed here. It's very simple to go in. You just highlight the box you want and you go to the pencil icon, edit text block, click. And it opens up all the content. You're free to change things in here, uh, make changes. And all you do is go click save changes. And then you're going to want to click update to update the entire page. So first saving the text block, then updating the page. You could create new pages you could do a variety of things, but I'm only explaining what you have thus far. Um, if you want to change something in the menu, you would go to Appearance Menus. Here you can see the entire menu structure for the main menu. Up here you can there's different menus and you can create new menus and change their locations. Um, but what's important for you to know is that if you wanted to change some of the headings, you could simply go in and change it right here under the navigation label. You can also grab pages, posts, products, and custom links and insert them. You would add it to menu. I'll just do a test one here. Let's say we want to add this new link to the menu, add to menu, and it comes down here at the bottom. You can then drag it around and place it in the correct space, and then you can remove it. So everything is in here. Let's say your YouTube link changed. You would come into here under YouTube and change the link to the channel. Really simple. Again, saving the menu once you're done. Um, plugins. Important to know about plugins is um, you want to keep them updated. What I mentioned before about sort of keeping your site updated and protected. You do want to come in through here and make sure things are up to date. So you can see this one down here. It's an SEO plugin. You can just click update now. I'm doing that for you and that keeps it so it's nice and secure because older versions can become out of date and less secure. That's often why they're updated to prevent people from sort of hacking them, etc. Um, that's all done now. Important section here is the e-commerce section. So first I'll just show you the product section. This is where all the products are. You can see everything is in here, electric vehicle signs, wall mount, etc. You would just go down here and click the arrows to see the rest of them. And let's say you want to change a price of this pre-wire kit. You can simply go and you can click on the words here or you can click edit. Once you're inside, you can select the product category here on the right. So whatever you check off, it will show up under that category. You can then scroll down and set the regular price, a sale price, and then there's various things like inventory, shipping information like weight, um, and it can get quite complicated. As is, you just have basic products for sale right now. Over here on the WooCommerce thing is where you can set sort of general settings regarding e-commerce. This is where orders will show up when people have purchased. You can set coupons here. So let's say you want to have a either give someone a coupon or you have a general coupon. It would be done in here. Um, you get reports here of in income, etc. And then under here, you're going to want to go into settings. Setting base location, we can decide if we're only going to sell to specific countries. So we could put like United States here and Canada. And anyone from a non, um, the, only those countries will be able to be shown at checkout. Um, there's other various things here, the currency, um, stuff like that. You're going to want to go into tax and set the proper tax, enable taxes and tax calculations. Right now it's not enabled. I don't know what you need to do for these sort of products. Um, 
There's lots of information online for WooCommerce that you can go Google if you're having um, trouble or else you can send me an email if I can do my best. Here, um, checkout is where you can set what people can use for payments. So right now, all of these are set. Um, you're gonna wanna go in here and I'm actually gonna disable them all except for PayPal. Enable bank transfers, not enabled, that's good. Check, you don't want that, it's not enabled. Cash on delivery, you don't want that, but I hope PayPal is selected here. It is enabled, but here you need to put your own email in order for this to work. Um, and as I said, I need your admin email so I can update these. And yeah, that's pretty much the main thing here. Also, you're gonna to wanna to look into shipping information because depending on what you're shipping, you may need to charge different things. Right now it's not enabled. They would simply be charged the amount of the product that you've set already. Um, so yeah, there's some things in here that are very important that you should sort of think about. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Posts is where um, your press articles would go into, we go and add to new post. Put the title up here, put your content in here, set the category and publish. It's really quite simple. This right here is called the Yoast SEO plugin. It's a great way to sort of um, check to see if you're doing very good things regarding SEO. Um, you'd set your focus keyword, maybe like electric vehicle charger or BC Hydro, EVSC, or something like that. And then it sort of gives you hints right below on how to effectively make your content very search engine optimized. You're gonna to wanna to note down here that pages can be altered, meaning at default, it's probably full layout, but you can also set it to have a left sidebar or a right sidebar. Managing page elements, um, those page titles, that's where you have that um, you have sort of a road graphic that the page title goes over. You can remove that. You can remove the header, the footer. It's all very customizable. If you ever have any questions, just feel free to let me know. I think that's about it. That's all you're going to need. There are some other options in here. In theme options is where you're going to find most of the styling and sort of setup. So for instance, under typography, I've chosen the fonts for you. I think I asked you them a while back and we selected Montserrat. Um, here the main navigation is where you can alter the size of the menu items. Styling is where we have the colors. General has things like the main grid width. You're going to want to put a Google Analytics ID in there if you want to start tracking statistics. Um, there's various other things in here. Probably don't need to spend too much time in here. I think you know where we got the website to at this point, it's quite solid. The master slider is where we alter what is on the front page. So we're using the main slider here. And basically you can alter each individual slide by clicking here. Um, you then see it's layer based. So this layer right here, first you set the background image here and then the layer here. So I've added a new image layer for this and then you can style it down here below and then save changes and all of the settings for the slider are over here. So the other day I added in loop navigation, which you requested, pause on hover, everything is very customizable. That's the great thing about using this framework. All right, I think I've covered all the main topics that you need to know to operate the website and make changes yourself.